It never fails. If I want to film outside, my neighbors like need to pressure wash or mow or run a chainsaw every single time. I'm gonna voice over. Sorry about the noise. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. Cindy from Goaty Gardens in Winchester, Kentucky uh, messaged me and asked if she could send me some of her, well, you'll see, some of her product to unbox on my channel. So we're gonna do it together. I'm kind of excited, honestly. sweet look at this she sent me a thank you and then there is a whole story on the back about the way that they are running their farm why they have their farm it's really about their family you guys her daughters look these are the goats so one says, thank you for showcasing our mohair, Taylor, age nine. Hi, my name is Riley, age seven. By the way, my son's name is Riley and spelled the same. My favorite goat is Maggie. She is so sweet. And this one says, I think it's Casey. Thank you. Casey's five. You guys are so cute. They're homeschooling their kids. And they have goats on their farm and they want to start selling their mohair. So she was like, hey, can I send you some? Are you ready for this? What's gonna, oh, there we go. Okay. So each of these came with a little introduc introduction blah, 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 to the goat. And a whole like little bio about each goat. How adorable is this? So this one is Ginger. I'm not gonna read you the whole thing because I feel like you should order so you can get your own little goat story. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a big... That's my dog. If you're new here, that's my dog, Donkey. This is from Maple. Here is her card, Maple's card, and then Maple's mohair. Look how beautiful. I am gonna be washing and processing this. And then this one is pumpkin. And here is pumpkin's locks. Look how beautiful those are. Thank you so much, Cindy. I cannot wait to try these out. And this is really beautiful, the way that you have the little story of each goat. Okay, we're gonna wash Maple first. Again, there is some info about her on the back, which is really fun. Got to get this apart. So when you wash mohair, you don't have to do the same stuff that you do with sheep's wool because they don't have lanolin. Of course they get like skin oils, but it's not the same as lanolin. So do not have to have that super hot water that'll melt it off. So I'm going to get the water kind of lukewarm. And I'm just gonna use this little container so that I don't have to have it in my sink. It's even a little warmer than I want it to be. It will felt if you get it too hot and agitate it. Okay, that's good. Um, I'll actually quick check the temp before I put this in with a thermometer. This is what she sent. And then let me check the temp real quick. All right. Okay, it's not even getting to 100 on my candy thermometer. I'm gonna guess it's like between 90 and 95, somewhere in there just based on the gradation on the thermometer. And then I do want a little bit of Dawn in here, but you don't need as much as you do, again, for lanolin. For lanolin, 
the heat plus the dawn which is a grease cutting is what really will carry the grease away you don't need to carry the grease away as much with this there is another secret ingredient <laughs> so i am gonna put a tiny bit it is probably about a teaspoon maybe just a hair more than a teaspoon but around a teaspoon should do it arm and hammer laundry soap so i will only leave this in for 15 minutes but this stuff is just really good for dirt i don't know how to explain it but it's really good the other secret with mohair is you it, it's gonna want to smush itself together and when it does it blocks the water and the soap from getting into the inside of the locks so you really do want to give them room to move around and also the more you pull them apart the cleaner it will get it's gonna just really be hard to penetrate in now, if you want to keep them in lock form, you can't do what I'm doing right now, but I am pulling the locks apart just a little. So I can get soap and water to the center. Again, this is, you do not have to do this, but it'll get cleaner. Put that in. Really your risk is smushing them together too tightly. And because you don't have to get it very hot, felting risk is lower. And you guys, I know you're gonna see other things in other places, like do what makes you happy. There's no rules, there's no police. I saw, a weaving post the other day and this lady was like so proud of what she did and some guy had to like I mean kind of crap on it and tell her what she didn't do and it really made me mad you know I don't like it why can't you just encourage people just encourage people it's not hard so some of you are gonna say well what if you were leaving it as a lock if I was leaving these as locks and washing them as locks without pulling them apart just a hair I would do it the same way I wouldn't change the way I wash it, but I would probably need to wash and rinse it more times. I'm going to make a like brushed mohair yarn with it. Okay, so this one is maple. I definitely had some dirt fall out. It is normal. I'm gonna quick spray it out of the sink. This water, 90 degrees, is barely above lukewarm. So I'm going to leave this for 15 minutes. And I think it's only going to need one wash, but we're, we'll see. And I am moving it around because, again, the mohair, because the water's just barely warm, it's not going to felt up. All right, we'll be back. This has been in here for 15 minutes. I'm going to take it, and you guys have seen my drain bucket before if not I'll link a video so I'm just gonna go drain this outside and I'll be right back I brought it back in this is the bucket John cut the bottom out for me okay I just rinsed that out again because it just makes sense not to redeposit any dirt right and yes in case you're worried I will clean my sink after the farm animal fur touches. <laughs> I will clean my sink after. I'm gonna get it warm again. We're literally gonna put it right in with the mohair. I think I'm gonna need two rinses. Just making sure it wasn't too hot. But I can see already, it's a way, 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 way cleaner. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm getting the water all through it. I'm not gonna get crazy and like put pressure. I'm just trying to make sure the water 
can move all through. You do not need to wait a long time with the rinses. I'm literally gonna take this right now, empty it again, and um, rinse it again immediately. I showed in the um, Sorry Silk blending video that I was gonna spin a Jacob fleece and I am working on it right now. I'm on the second color. I did the lightest color first. So I'm gonna sit out here while it dries. This is my, what I usually use to dry stuff on. One of these sweater dryers I got at a garage sale for a quarter. <laughs> but look at this. There was a leaf in my drain bag, but it is so pretty. This is maple. I will do the other ones and I'll be showing pictures like on Instagram and stuff as I do it, but I'm not gonna do all three for the video. But look at how gorgeous. This color is so pretty, it's like gold. So I'm gonna let this fleece dry out here and then we're gonna spin it into some yarn, some brushed mohair yarn. You can see just from this, it's not at all felted. It's just falling apart and it's so clean. How easy is that? <laughs> I wanted to show you all three of them washed in the sunshine. That's what you really need to get a good look. All right, this is maple, all washed. I washed all three. So this is maple. It is like kind of a golden tan. This one is ginger. It has a little bit of, I guess, gray in it, I would say and it washed up very nicely and you can see also our maple trees are trying to make babies these are from the maple trees falling in the drying fleece and then this white one is pumpkin they wash up so so easily really really pretty i've thought a lot about this i'm gonna card the uh sample i got of maple's fleece i always think a lot about prep and letting the fleece tell me what it wants to be. I've talked about it many times. Uh, basically, I decided to card it because of the length. Let me show you. If you have something more than like three inches, combing is often a better option. I wouldn't say always, but often a better option. I would say this is like maybe, maybe three at the most. So, um, and I, what I'm gonna do is card it, but I'm gonna attempt to keep it as organized as you can. So that means it will never be a worsted prep. You cannot card a worsted prep, but you can line the fibers up as much as possible by the way you feed them in, by carding very slowly, all those things. So I am gonna try and keep them organized, but I'm gonna use my carder. I want less waste, that's part of it, and the carder always produces less waste than combing. You can absolutely just pick this and spin it from a cloud. You can spin it from the locks if you want a really lock spun looking yarn. There is so much you can do with these and mohair is so, 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 so hot right now. But that's what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna spin it very, very fast super fine and then we're going to do one last step after the spinning that's going to just change the game so let's We've done the first time through. John and I had a nice chat while I I stopped carding and picked what was left. So I'm gonna take it off and we're gonna run it through two more times. I'm gonna take it off kind of carefully. I wanna make sure I get all of it. Picking was fine. I would say I threw away tiny, tiny bit of shortcuts, nothing to speak of.
I'm gonna run it through two more times, but I'm gonna show you quickly what it looks like the first time. This is pretty normal, what it will look like the first time through if you're gonna card it. Uh, it has, I would say, next to no VM. It's in really good shape. So we're gonna run it back through. Let's do it. And I'm gonna go very slow. I'm gonna take it off and show you again. We'll do one more pass and then we'll be done, 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 done. I'm so happy. I can't wait. I really can't wait to spin this. The last bat I made was orange <laughs> and it had sparkle and sorry silk in it and who knows what else. I did try to get everything, but I would not be surprised if I picked up an orange sparkle or I think I had some of the rainbow fire star in it. All right, so here we go. Third pass, we're gonna go spin. It never fails if I wanna film outside, my neighbors like need to pressure wash or mow or run a chainsaw every single time. I'm gonna voice over, sorry about the noise. <laughs> Because I wanted to spin this lace way, I moved my whirl and my whole project that I was working on, put on a smaller whirl and picked one of the bobbins that has the very small end so that I could spin really fast with my matchless. Uh, the singles are all done. I still haven't weighed this, but if I had to guess, I'm guessing like somewhere between one and a half and two ounces. They're really pretty and fuzzy. And I wasn't sure what I was gonna ply it with, but I have this bull and silk lace, super fine lace weight. I think I'm gonna ply it with that because that'll make it go further and it'll give it a little strength because the silk will be nice and strong. I did start plying with that yarn I described right away and immediately did not like it, so I switched to turkey hand. light's gonna be really weird I'm sorry it's like super bright sunlight coming from the window okay I'm done let me show you before I start winding it that I did not like plying it with the yarn I was probably only six to eight inches in and I was like oh no 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 <laughs> so I turkey hand plied this whole thing and it might look like a small bobbin but I don't it's a lot of yardage I'm gonna wind it, I'll show you the yardage, and I have one more step after that that's like really important. I have it on my Lazy Kate. This is the one that came with my minstrel. And I'm gonna wind it, I have showed you guys this before and talked about it. You can still get these. I wasn't sure for a while, so I was kind of being quiet about it, but they're still on Etsy. These, they've changed a little bit, but not a ton. I mean, generally they're the same. This is a Hornshaw Woodworks Swift. I've had it for, oh gosh, probably 15 years maybe. They're made locally to me, like they're in Holland where we used to live and the Hornshaws were actually, he was developing them and John bought an unfinished one from him and painted it with the purple automotive paint for me. <laughs> so you can't get one exactly like this, but you can get the Swift. I'm sure you would sell it unfinished if you wanted to finish it yourself. One of the things I really like about it is that <clears throat> it's adjustable in the size of the 
I don't know, the, the loop, the skein that you make, the hank that you make. So you can go 32, 36, 48, 60, 262 so I have 262 yards I am going to mark it of course right away because I'll forget but before I do um, I'm gonna come in in the sunshine really close so you can see it and then we gotta do one more step oh I hope you're gonna be able to see this it has a faint like sheen to it it's almost a sparkle it is really really pretty Maybe that'll show you better. I know there's a shadow right here, but um, that, at least you can get some sunshine on. All right, so we've got it kind of tight on here. Anything you have that you can, I mean, you do not have to have it tight, but what I'll do is kind of open it up and brush it both ways all the way around. kind of like shift it so that it's not on the pegs in the same place. Now I'm going to show you again. I swear this camera today. You can see that raises like such an amount of fluff on it. And that's kind of what you expect from mohair yarn, or at least what I do. I don't expect it to be as smooth as the original one was. And that's how you can raise the fluff. Raise the fluff. So pretty. It's really, really nice. Um, this, unfortunately for me, is a color I can't wear. So it'll either become a gift or I'll dye it. Which is, you know, either thing is fun, right? Really pretty. Now, if you had this... 262 yards it probably didn't shrink much because it is um you know it's it's not very stretchy i'm gonna wash it still but would what would you make with it whether it was for a gift or for yourself what would you make with this i hope you have a great week i hope you take care of yourself and love yourself and i will see you sunday thanks i love you bye